I don't know about you, but one word that I'm really tired of hearing is unprecedented. And St. Paul in our epistle today shows us that really nothing is unprecedented, uh, especially in the life of our Catholic family. St. Paul talks about how some say, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos. Sort of reminds me of how some people say, well, I belong to St. whatever parish. We're not like those people down the street at the other parish, and never will the two mix together. I'm charismatic, or I'm traditional, I'm conservative, I'm liberal. As human beings, we love to uh, latch on to these little labels, and we dismiss the full complexity and richness and reality of our brother and sister in Christ. Uh, we reduce them. Against this human impulse, Paul says we need to recall our true anchor of identity, which is in God. Paul, Apollos, they're nothing. It's only God who assigns the growth, who makes all these things work together. And so whenever we're tempted to reduce someone to an ideology, uh, we want to remember, who is this person? A daughter of God, a son of God, someone who is united to us as part of the mystical body, which is Christ. As humans, we'll never come to a point where we entirely think the same way, look the same way, agree about all things. Uh, but over that divide is this bridge, which is Christ. Only Christ will unite us to one another and help us to overcome all divisions, both within the church and within our society. Uh, we look out and we see so much brokenness, uh, so much hatred, uh, so much suspicion of the other. As we come before the Eucharist, which is this great sacrament of unity, we ask God to soften our hearts, to help us to see things differently, uh, and to see people differently, and to remember that as God sees us, we want to see others. And so we ask our Lord to transform our vision and to help us pierce through the appearances and to appreciate the heart of another and to draw all of us together into that one family, which is the church. Certainly a family that is dysfunctional at times, like all families can be, uh, but one which is richly loved by God. Uh, our Lord is indeed the Alpha and the Omega of all things. He's the beginning and the end. And so we turn to him with contrition, and we ask him to transform us.